Hey guys, it's David here with BinaryOptionsDaily.com. Uh, I just wanted to show you kind of a live trade uh, that I may be taking here shortly and kind of why I am thinking about taking it. Now, we're on the one minute chart for the Euro USD right now, and basically the thing that I look for in a turn in the market is what just happened uh, right now. Now, we wouldn't actually be getting into the trade. Uh, but let me kind of explain a little bit what we're looking for. So we had had a reversal in the market where it starts to turn up, as you can see right here. And what we're looking for is we're looking for a red candle to break and close lower than the previous uh, green candle. So we have seen that happen right now. So what I'm going to be doing is go ahead and open up my trading platform, and I will be placing a put on the euro usd for the remainder of this time so we've got it right here and i will be doing a 250 dollars put which as you can see the trade has been placed and it looks like i got in at 1.31239 so we will see what happens with this I'll go back to, and this, this website is actually freestockcharts.com, uh, and you can actually go on here and just look up pretty much anything you like. If you click over here where it says EURUSD, you can change the symbol. Uh, and you've also got some drawing tools as well, which uh, can be very, very helpful, as well as your uh, Fibonacci lines and some different um, tools in here like speed lines. You got the pitchfork, trend lines, whatever you'd like. You got some arrows in here, so I'll go ahead and draw an arrow, uh, actually where we had gotten in at, uh, just for reference. And I'll just put it right here, uh, as close as I can. So as you can see, it's it's looking to uh, come back up a little bit, but hopefully we should see a uh, retracement back down and hopefully see a win. Now we've got about uh, 10 minutes left so we will see what happens uh, from here. However, you know, basically the way that my uh, vision of it working is we had a smooth upward trend going and as soon as that broke down that means the price is likely to go down. So, you know, of course we always have um, consolidations and retracements back up so I think we got in at a pretty good level uh, with about nine minutes left to go so we will see what happens uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and we can come back to it and uh, with probably about a minute left and we'll see what's uh, going on right then and actually I'm gonna go ahead and unpause it real quick and while we're uh, still at this point I'm gonna go ahead and draw a line uh, for our entry Make sure that's about right. That is about right. So what I usually do is whenever I enter, I will go ahead and put a line and change the color to whatever um, it was based on a put or a call. So if I did a put, I will put a red line. And if I do a call, I will put a green line. And it just gives me a visual reference of where the target needs to go, uh, either under my line or over it. And uh, it's just for visual reference, however, it really means absolutely nothing in the trading world. So, um, But again, I will just pause this again, and I will come back in just a little bit, and we can see how it's progressing. All right, so we've still got a few minutes left, but I wanted to go over uh, kind of what I'm seeing right now. Uh, now, here's where a lot of traders actually get messed up um, with this scenario. So we had a nice uptrend right here, and as soon as it broke, this was our entry. So... We got in right here <clears throat> for our put. Now, as soon as it comes back up and retrace, uh, retraces back over this candle, many traders will think, "Hey, this was a mistake." Um, you know, usually it'll it's probably going to go up again. However, it's a fake out because if it does not close over the top of this candle, that means it's going to likely continue down. So that's just one thing to realize um, that usually, you know, when you've got the start of a downtrend, it's going to pop back up and, and test those levels again, which it did. Um, 
and then again started coming back down so uh, that's just something to think about when you're trading so we've got about five minutes left and I will come back in just a few minutes and we'll see how this thing is progressing all right so we got about two minutes and 40 seconds left uh, the trade is still looking pretty good uh, if you notice with these candles one of the main things that we're looking for in reversal is a close over the candle and the wick so as you can see you know this came down and if this would have actually ended up here I could have signaled that you know it may be going back up however as you can see it ended at the top of the wick and did not close it over which tells me hey it's likely still gonna go down so that's that's basically what is happening right now uh, it's still kinda testing down uh, a little bit more so I think we're we're probably okay on this one right now uh, we got about a minute left now so I'll just let this one run and we will see what happens um, but I hope I've kinda explained this pretty well of, of what we're looking for so we've again we've got this uptrend right here and kinda of just draw a little bit up and this is by no means a trend line or anything I'm just trying to uh, show you that we've got the uptrend right here going up and as soon as this candle breaks the low of that last green candle right here and its wick then that signals to me that hey this is uh, likely a good time for a put on this trade so uh, as we've seen it went straight down and then usually there is some recourse back up which it tested the high again dropped back down finished uh, a little bit above which again this is why most uh, traders could mess up because you know they're looking for uh, possibility that hey this this might go up but however it's not it's just retesting these levels again and as we've seen it came all the way back down